Are you familiar with the 1971 movie The Panic in Needle Park? It's a film that delves deep into the gritty underbelly of New York City in the early 70 seconds, and it raises questions that may still resonate with us today. Perhaps you've watched it, and if so, is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Or maybe you have a cherished memory associated with this film. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's dive into some random facts about the show. The Panic in Needle Park is a powerful and unflinching portrayal of addiction and love. Directed by Jerry Schatzberg and starring Al Pacino and Kitty Wynn, the film is set against the backdrop of the heroin epidemic in New York City. It's a raw and unvarnished look at the lives of young addicts and their struggle to find hope and connection in the midst of despair. The film's title refers to a small park in Manhattan notorious for drug activity. Shot on location, it captures the grim reality of addiction and the desperation of those ensnared by it. Al Pacino's performance as Bobby, a small-time hustler and addict, is a standout, showcasing his early talent and intensity as an actor. But beyond the performances, the panic in Needle Park has left a lasting mark on cinema and the way we perceive addiction. It's a stark reminder of the challenges many face and the humanity that persists even in the bleakest of circumstances. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below. When the screenplay for the 1971 movie The Panic in Needle Park was submitted to the NPAA for a ratings evaluation, the board declared that it would receive an X rating for the language alone. However, the final film was rated R. This decision by the Motion Picture Association of America sheds light on the raw and gritty nature of the film's portrayal of drug addiction and life on the streets of New York City. The panic in Needle Park dared to depict the harsh realities of addiction and its impact on individuals, which resulted in a higher rating due to its explicit language and content. The film, directed by Jerry Schatzberg, tells the story of two lovers, Bobby and Helen, played by Al Pacino and Kitty Wynn, who struggle with heroin addiction in the infamous Needle Park neighborhood. The decision to rate it R instead of X allowed a wider audience to witness the film's portrayal of addiction and its consequences. It gave the film an opportunity to reach a broader audience and bring attention to the issues it portrayed. The choice of an R rating, despite the MPAAS initial X rating concerns, reflects the film's significance in shedding light on the darker aspects of urban life and drug addiction. The panic in Needle Park remains a powerful and unflinching depiction of addiction, offering an unfiltered look at the struggles faced by its characters. In contrast to many films of its time, the panic in Needle Park refrained from using music in its soundtrack choosing instead to emphasize the raw and stark atmosphere of its setting. This, combined with the decision to receive an R rating, contributed to the film's reputation as a daring and authentic portrayal of drug addiction in 1970s New York City. In a lesser known fact, composer Ned Roran composed a score for the film that was ultimately removed from the final cut. However, the isolated score is included as a special feature on the Blu-ray release, offering an interesting insight into the film's creative process. In conclusion, The Panic in Needle Park is a significant film from 1971 that faced initial rating challenges from the MPAA but ultimately succeeded in its mission to shed light on the harsh realities of addiction and life in New York City's Needle Park. Its decision to receive an R rating and the absence of music in the film both contribute to its legacy as a powerful and unfiltered portrayal of addiction. These elements have solidified its place in the history of cinema. Al Pacino's performance in The Panic in Needle Park not only marked his first collaboration with director Jerry Schatzberg, but also played a crucial role in him landing the iconic role of Michael Corleone in The Godfather. Despite Robert De Niro auditioning for the part of Bobby, Schatzberg was set on Pacino, a choice that would significantly impact Pacino's career. His portrayal of a heroin addict in this gritty drama caught the attention of Francis Ford Coppola, who saw in him the potential to bring the complex character of Michael Corleone to life in The Godfather. The film is a pivotal point in Al Pacino's career, setting the stage for his rise to stardom and solidifying his status as a Hollywood legend. The Panic in Needle Park is a 1971 film that revolves around the lives of drug addicts in New York City. 
The name Needle Park was a nickname given to Sherman Square on Manhattan's Upper West Side, near 72nd Street and Broadway. This area earned its infamous title due to its popularity as a gathering place for drug addicts. The movie is based on a novel written by James Mills, which, in turn, was inspired by Mills' two-part pictorial essay published in Life magazine in 1965. The film offers a gritty and realistic portrayal of the struggles of drug addiction, capturing the dark and desperate side of life in the city. One notable aspect of the film is that it marks the screen debut of Marsha Jean Kurtz, who went on to have a successful acting career. In summary, The Panic in Needle Park is a movie that takes a candid look at the lives of drug addicts in New York City, drawing its inspiration from real-life experiences and events. The nickname of the location where much of the film's action takes place adds to the gritty authenticity of the story. Additionally, it introduced the audience to Marsha Jean Kurtz in her first screen appearance. The Panic in Needle Park, a 1971 film, was entirely shot in New York City. The movie's production notes reveal that it included scenes filmed at Needle Park, the Upper West Side, Riverside Park, a New York City prison, a hospital ward, the Staten Island Ferry, and the East Village. The film's gritty depiction of drug use led to its ban in the UK for four years. Mia Farrow was considered for the role of Helen. This movie offers a raw portrayal of addiction in the heart of New York City. The Panic in Needle Park, a 1971 film, marked Al Pacino's first leading role. Director Jerry Schatzberg initially declined the script but later agreed when Pacino showed interest, insisting that Pacino play the lead. Ironically, finding a studio willing to back the project with a newcomer like Pacino proved challenging. The movie's realistic portrayal of drug addiction was achieved through meticulous makeup work, with Herman Butchman studying real track marks and using flexible collodion. A registered nurse served as a technical advisor for scenes involving drug injections. The film remains a notable work in Pacino's career, showcasing his talent in a challenging role. As we close the curtain on our journey through the gritty streets of 1,971 seconds, The Panic in Needle Park, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this cinematic masterpiece may have had on your life. Whether you were moved by the haunting performances, the stark portrayal of addiction, or the raw, unapologetic depiction of New York City's underbelly, this film undoubtedly left its mark. Maybe it resonated with you on a personal level, reminding you of the resilience of the human spirit or the fragility of our own existence. Or perhaps it transported you to a time and place you've never experienced, offering a glimpse into a world that is both captivating and cautionary. Now, it's your turn to share. What are your favorite memories, thoughts, or insights about the panic in Needle Park? How has it shaped your perception of life, love, and the pursuit of happiness? Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of the film's enduring legacy. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic exploration and for allowing the magic of storytelling to weave its threads into your thoughts. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until next time, keep the love for cinema alive.